we've actually had that happen before. <laughs> it's like it was it just came out like that. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> We're not starting off with that. That's too deep. Get ready with me gone wrong. Is it cricket? Hey guys, it's Anna and Lexi, and we're back with another YouTube video. It has been a minute. It has been a minute. We're trying to set up the tripod and it's showing. Today, if you did not read the title of the video, it's gonna be like a get ready with me. So we're gonna be showing y'all like our makeup routine and the products that we use, but we're also getting deep with y'all. Like, as you guys know, we do our twin talks, but I feel like some of them are very surface level and we just wanna get a little bit more I don't know. We just want to get into it a little bit, so we asked you guys to ask us questions, opinions, tea, all the nine yards. We're just going to get right into it. Yeah. Okay. These are our makeup bags. They are very... Oh, did you get a new one? No. Oh, I got a new one. They're like the same material. Though. Yeah, they're the same material. They're from Amazon. What do you want to like start with? Honestly, this is going to be kind of unorganized, I feel like. Let's just go with what we want to go with, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to be able to group it into sections. Say, set Someone me. said, why did No. We're not starting off with that. That's too deep. Okay, so, um, okay, they just, they just sent me this sun glow. I think it's like the drunk elephant drop, so we're going to see how it is. I'm kind of pale right now, but we'll see. Okay, so the first question that you guys had asked was like what were our results on like our ancestry.com stuff because i did i i did do that because if you guys didn't know we were adopted and we didn't really get much information disclosed so what essentially we found out is that Anna and i are like a mixing pot like we, a melting pot or our black side had said that we were from like nigeria republic of congo um, and somewhere else I'd have to look but then also because we are white it said that we were from different parts of Europe and then we have our native side as well so it was really just a mix of everything I feel like we wanted to get clarity because we kind of just knew like oh we're native we're black we're white not really like anything in depth but honestly I don't know if that helped or not because now I just feel like I feel like confused I feel like there's just a lot like it was like oh five to it was like five to ten percent like depending on like the country or wherever from it wasn't anything like solid where we're majority this majority that majority it, that so it, yeah it um <laughs> it was interesting it, it, it definitely did not help with the identity crisis i sometimes have but it was kind of funny though because lexi was the only one who did it because we're identical twins so would hope the results would be the same well, yeah it'd be kind of interesting <laughs> but somebody asked what's the best book you've read and why Reading is definitely something that I enjoy as a hobby and I talk about it online sometimes and sometimes I just like to keep it to myself, but um, You read a lot of books though. I do and I I am not the type of person to be super in-depth I read I'll read like a small town romance just for fun And then I'll go into like an eight book series like there's really no in between it depends on my mood and I rate them on my mood and like kind of what I need at that time not necessarily whether the book was that good or not, it was whether it was good for me. Where's my light this year? But I would say the best book that I have read within the past year is The Fourth Wing, just because it satisfied everything that I normally look for in a book. It had romance, it had fantasy, it had a plot, it had some spice, like, and it's gonna be a series, and the next book comes out in a month, which I pre-ordered. And then I also have Lexi read it as well, and she really liked it. And now I feel like you're in a book run where you're comparing everything to what you've read, and well, it's not, I it's not up to my par. Concealer. Yeah, no, so I go like in and out of reading books. Like I have not nearly read as many that Anna has read, but I've definitely read like a fair share. And no, it is by far the best book that I have read, but also like take that with what you will. It is the best book that I've read, but I'm literally, I was reading the Avatar series, second book, really good, but like I already feel like I know what's going to happen throughout the rest of the series and there's six books, so I'm like, do I really need to finish up? But Anna is telling me that I do. But then also I'm reading The Crow Prince right now and it's like too slow. Like I'm almost done with the book and I'm like... <laughs> like what? Like where's... 
where's the romance? Like, I don't want to read half the book to get to that point. Like, I hate slow, slow burns. I, I do not like them. Like, no, I don't know be Because you will read books where they get way too into it. There's no groveling or well, I don't anything. Like, and I'm like, no, because they just be getting into it way too quick. Like, it's worth the wait. It's do you guys ever get burnt out from such a busy schedule? How do you manage? Um, yes. Yes. I feel like I've been burnt out for, like, the past, like, three weeks. Yeah, it's honestly, it's been really hard this year. I feel like we have been grinding the past two years. And I really think this year we are valuing taking a step back and honestly taking a lot of time for ourselves. Like taking a step back from what? You're not being specific. Everything. Taking a step back from take school. Step back from taking school. a step back. Like, what do you mean? Yes, I. can you let me finish what I'm trying to say? Taking a step back from everything um, and honestly just like making sure we're making time for ourselves. You know, I don't need to be working on school at 10 p.m. at night. Like I'm just not going to process what I want to process. And I just kind of learned that like my mental health and being in the right headspace for things is just as important as it's more important than just doing them to do them and get them, getting them done, whether that's school or social media. So that's kind of how my viewpoint has changed, and oh, I'm just not gonna. Does literally piss me off. Like, does it look weird? No. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Why does it look like? I'm just not gonna put too much pressure on myself, and I'm just gonna do the best that I can and put all my effort in, but also make sure that that's not compromising my physical or mental health, um, because that's how you get burnt out. So for me, I'm like been burnt out. Like, you don't want to get, it's, I'm so tired I can't even fucking sit there. I feel like where you're trying to go is like, you want to be real without being like almost too real because I feel like there's a lot of pressure online to be a certain way, act a certain way. People know we're in school and they see like, oh, that's hard, they balance it, they make it look easy. Like a lot of people told us that, especially like at the honor event. And we're like, what? Like, I don't know how we're making it look easy, but I guess from like a social media standpoint, that's kind of like what people want to see. So we're, but, we, so like people go and look at you for motivation. Like I do that to other creators. I look at them for motivation. And so when you maybe see them always constantly, constantly struggling, it's like the motivation's not gonna be there. So like you can only share so much and I might like be struggling like so much. <laughs> But I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all keep going. I know it's hard, but keep going. And But that's why we also say like you guys motivate us as well because it's not pressure, but it is like a standard that not only we hold ourselves to, but we feel like you guys do. So we kind of keep each other in check, which is like nice. Wait, why do I feel like my eyebrows look weird? They don't, Lexi. They look the same. I need a mirror. This is literally cloggy. I can't see through it at all. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that made sense. Like it was... It You'll edit it too. Okay. It was a little bit, it was a little bit more deep, but it is honest, and we've been fully transparent with you guys. That's why we're only posting on YouTube every other week because that's all we can manage right now. And we would be real if we tried to tell you we could post every week, and then we're like, hey guys, sorry, like. <laughs> and I'd rather like be consistent than make consistent false promises. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, who apologizes first in a fight? <laughs> Um, do people change rooms? Girl, are you gonna answer? Um, I honestly don't even think. I think I, I feel do. Like I do. I don't think there is apologies. I think I do. I feel like the last time when we were yelling at each other, like like the few oh, days ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel I like it depends on the situation. I just like go to you first. I don't think it's necessarily an apology, but like I'll go to talk to you first after we're done, unless you realize you really know you did something wrong. But and vice versa. I will say, if you have siblings, it's almost like you get so heated where you don't even know why you're arguing anymore sometimes, and you honestly just need space. Like I'm the type of person where I would say some mean because I'm mad, so I just know now, or like I've learned over the years, like where I'm like, okay, I need to take a step back. But you're gonna say what something I'm saying, like- What I'm saying right now is gonna get me like, <laughs> like I will say some mean stuff. So I'll take a step back and I'll take time for myself. And like, I know some people don't interpret it, like interpret that well, like you or even like Devin per se, like I just don't think you, either of you guys like confrontation or like disagreements. So you'll apologize, but 
in my head. I'll like, just go to talk to you first and talk it out and be like, bro, I know. just got heated. Like, but I just, just like, yeah. I and mean, that's why I just need space and I just need to like be alone and kind of like process like how I want to go about resolving the conflict instead of just yelling and yell. So that's kind of how like I am when it comes to my disagreements. Legs. Like I just need time and then I can address the situation. My leg is like dead. So that's why I would say like you would come to me first just because you could, you're just like, it's, but it's know. not necessarily an apology. It's just talk just to talk but i normally just i'm like okay i'm done with this where is my light <laughs> concealer like i don't know where my light concealer went somebody asked what i thought about chicago so if you guys didn't see i went on a little trip to chicago to see SZA that Devin had planned for my birthday back in august and she performed in chicago in october so it was definitely worth the wait I honestly i loved it i felt like the area that Devin and i were in was super nice um, there wasn't a lot of homeless people or anything. I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because I had been before, but I was really young, so I, like, remember the bean, and that's pretty much it. And we did this tour, and it was a history and food tour, so that was super cool. Does this match? Um, no. Or, yeah, it does now. Where's my, like, my concealer is literally not in here. We did a history and food tour and it was super cool to see and the food was really good so I loved it and then we ended with SZA and we came back and it was such a good experience. 10 out of 10, we'll definitely go back and... Chicago's yeah. kind of like Minnesota. Yeah, it were my, yeah, it was like Minneapolis times four or five but like overall it felt the same. It was kind of cold. Gave the same vibe so in a way it was kind of homey. Like I felt very comfortable there which was super cool but yeah, I loved it. I loved it. So that's good. I feel like people think that we live in LA or California. Like I get that all the time. I'm I get like, offended by that. <laughs> because people in LA and I'll say LA, not California, but people in LA are not nice. Um, yeah, I like even now they're like, how is it living in California? Like I don't live in California. I never have <laughs> and I never will. I never. One thing that I feel like Lex and I have learned from going on these trips and getting to travel more is that I have a newfound appreciation for Minnesota. I just wish it was warmer for longer. I agree, but I also like the snow. It's homey. It's, I just like it's three so I get seasonal depression. The sun is not out long enough and it's not hot enough. Like I swear to God, the high was like a hundred for like a day and then it's like <laughs> 50 degrees the next day. I I'm like, I will contest to that, but also I feel like the holidays, well, you at least contest to that. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say, up until December, I'm okay. Because you have okay, but Thanksgiving then, and Halloween yeah. and Christmas, and then you have like the little New Year for January. And then after that, yes, the snow can leave. I will agree, the snow can leave. But, like, I like it, but I'm like, okay, it is it will be, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, but like, if spring was hotter, if summer was hotter, for I don't long, need hotter, I need like, for longer. longer. Like, I just, my season of, I'm like, vi the vitamin D pills, like, I just need the sun. But what I was saying though is that we have like we have, do appreciate living here more. Like when we were younger, we'd always be like, no, I'm not living here, I hate it, da 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 da. But now I feel like getting to travel, I'm like, I actually do like Minnesota. People are nice, the food is good, and it's homey. True that. So someone asked, are you really close to any of the honor girls? I feel like this is kind of a cool question because I feel like Huh? Is this bad? No, it's just okay. okay. At least. <laughs> Um, I feel like this is a really good question because traveling and working with brands obviously gives you the opportunity to meet a whole bunch of new people. Especially people who are in the same space as you. Yeah, so it's just been like super cool to connect. I would say out of all the honor girls, we're definitely closest with Abby. Girl, if you're watching this, love you. She is so nice. She's, she's just a good she's just she's a, a good person. she's a good person. And it's really hard to find people who are genuine in the space. Yeah. Because like I said, like you learn a lot on these trips. You learn who, you know, we don't base it off of like a one-time experience, but sometimes a one-time experience is, is enough. enough. So. Is enough. So out of, we've gotten to meet with her like a couple of times and we always just, it's always like us hanging out. Like we're always just texting and hanging out and texting like not obviously on these trips too. So it's just super cool to see. And I feel like we've mentioned before that we're both really selective with our friendships or people that we choose to be super close with and not just kind of like surface surface level, like, oh, we're friends, but like, are we like friends? friends. You know what I'm saying? And nothing bad about that. Like that's just something you learn like as you become an adult. And also like, some friends that you like, 
Like you might have different friends for different for certain things. Yeah. Can I talk? Yeah. But you like we're like mom. No, I'm not. Yeah, mom yeah I mobiles. literally finished my sentence. <laughs> we're just twins. That's why I finished your sentence. But you have friends for different things, and I feel like I like I can tell like Abby's a friend for everything. Yeah. Like, she's, she's some. Yeah. <laughs> Go. But she, you get what we're saying. So yeah. She's definitely some somebody that we could do all of that with. There's also like still a bunch of people that I want to meet where I feel like it could be like that. Like. Ashley or like Ashley Smashley on YouTube. I literally love her you guys yeah. and we almost met up one time But then it well actually two different occasions, but then it didn't work out like on either ends But I just feel like she would be like the type of person to be like a friend for everything, too And I feel like I need like a paper towel. I'm getting makeup everywhere. What are you doing? My makeup bag is messy and I'm used to just like like grabbing now I actually have to like dig I actually here. cleaned my makeup before I left for my trip so I like wiped it all down this is like my summer blush and this is like my winter blush if you know you know because this is more like orange tinted in a way where like it makes the tan look good and I can use it now but this is more of like this is like uh worth I don't know it's just oh wait maybe it isn't even this one you know what I have like five rare beauty blush it's this one it's like purpley tone which reminds yeah. me of winter um, this is encourage but to finish off the question a bunch of there are a, a couple of other girls too that I feel like we clicked with really well Deasia, um, Meg um, Who else am I thinking of? Who else am I? Oh, Michaela It's just hard sometimes because like everybody has their stuff to do and there's only so much like time you get to like talk to people so it's really um it's, hard, it's kind of hard to like put a label on it if that makes sense like I honestly feel like I had like good conversations with everybody and like it's super cool meeting everybody but it's really hard because I don't know like I don't know how other people would label it so I don't want to be like oh we're friends and then there's and like somebody be like girl what the hell like, like we met one time so I don't know I, I think everybody but I would say like out of everybody she just Abby comes to mind as per usual are you and Anna really close in reality? You got your guys' videos give different vibes. Okay, first of all, that's the whole point because we are two individuals. Um, in reality, though, we are close. We've been really close our whole life, probably our best, like, friend our whole life. I mean, we live different lives, but, yeah, I would say that we are, like, really close. Like, I can tell some, I can tell Anna, like, I'm feeling some way about something that, like, might be, like, either maybe out of pocket but like also be like am I like stupid for thinking this and she's like no yeah I was thinking the same thing and I'm like mm -hmm. it's like and honestly I feel like as we become adults um we've been able to set like pretty good boundaries and honestly like differentiate ourselves like even online but also in person like if you know us well you, you know, know who we are and you know <laughs> you're like that. yeah you can tell who is who but also we are still twins so we do think very similarly we like a lot of the same things but and like, i'm glad that you can tell on a like a, a basis of our content that our vibes are different because they are they are it's like same like, same but different you know yeah. what i'm saying like mm -hmm. no i love that you see those tiktoks where it's like when you've been best friends for so long and you kind of like morph into the same person we just came out like that like we yeah we still have different like, interests but there'll be like times where we'll literally like come out wearing like the same thing no for school <laughs> last week <laughs> like we yeah and it's it's kind of creepy but like also like i don't know we share the same exact dna we're probably going to share some of the same thoughts that's about the taylor swift and travis kelsey opinions oh did lexi said she wanted to touch on okay this. so if you haven't <laughs> if you haven't seen is it kayla right it's kayla. yeah if you haven't seen kayla's response please go watch it because her letter to like just all black girls in general was so beautifully put like it's insane like i watched the whole video probably like three times and she just handled the situation so well it's crazy to me it is honestly crazy people were like pinning and comparing and like but they like dated so long ago i know like and it wasn't it wasn't anything they did it was kind of what the internet did well yeah and i'm just like because the swifties are so like a strong community I, like i don't know i just feel like they pin two women against each other for no reason and her response back was just so 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 mature and so well put it's like i don't even know that's all i gotta say i'm like when people want to talk about it i'm like go watch her response like it's honestly it sucks though if she sad. had to make a response to something like that i mean obviously it was very educational and i honestly gave me and i'm sure a lot of other women like reassurance that a we knew where we didn't know we needed but 
It still sucked that the internet kind of like forced her hand in that aspect. Yeah, no, I agree. Because I was people like, like to talk. Yeah. And honestly, when I first like, like seen it, I was like, wait, like, didn't they date so long ago? Like, we're like acting like he can't date his own race too. I don't get that when people try to do that. Like, I we're both in an interracial relationship. You know what? I love to see it, but also like people date who they want to date. I don't get why they yeah, I gotta just, hate. No, I don't think anybody should honestly base their opinion. Like, you have your own preferences and your own likes and dislikes when it comes to relationships, and that's fine, but I don't think it gives you the right to judge other people for theirs. Thanks for the All the Dogs album review. Um, okay. This is kind of good. I actually, I liked, I want to say, four or five songs. Um, I haven't like listened that to the whole album yet, but I've listened to a few songs. I like Virginia Beach. Like, Gently, is it Gently with, like, Bad Bunny? Yeah, that's good. I like, uh... Is a good it's amen. Good. I like rich baby daddy. I like the ones that are catchy, the ones you can rock to. Um, I will say, I thought, like, I saw a lot of people say, like, oh, I thought we were getting like Marvin's Room Part 2. I felt the same. I like Drake's old stuff better. I do too. And so, I don't know. I thought it was cool that Adonis was on a song too, but <laughs> I just, this I don't know how you. was not my shade. Why does my makeup look like this? <laughs> get ready with me gone wrong. <laughs> to finish off what I was saying pretty much, I don't get how you could be talking though about like BBL love and then have your son rapping on a song. Like the two are not like matching in my head or it doesn't really align. Like I know he's doing a lot of stuff to keep up with trends and just to like talk, but also I will say, how many albums has he? Like four albums in two years or something like that. That's a lot. And people are like, okay, how do you have so many stories to tell? over so many songs and I don't know he's Drake like I don't really know but also like I honestly would rather wait and have like something that I'm fully satisfied with and be like okay like two maybe three songs out of a 10 song album and then next question what are you guys being for Halloween okay I am so proud of my Halloween costume because I'm gonna be an avatar and it's gonna be like I'm gonna hopefully be able to keep my braids in for a month because at that point the blue I'm, avatar yeah the blue avatar if that did make sense um Oh, I would have had fully had my braids in for a month by then. So that's the goal. Otherwise, I'm just going to get them redone. But I want to be an avatar. I've been seeing it on Pinterest. And, like, I'm, like, obviously, it's going to be cold here. Like, I'm going to make it look. Yeah. But, like, I want people to get what I'm going to be. But I'm going to be an avatar. And I'm very excited about my costume. Yeah. And then I'm going to be the statue. Go. What? I'm going to be the Statue of Liberty. And then Devin's going to be, like, a tourist. And it's going to be, I love New York. So I think yeah. that'll be super cute. And um, I don't want you to use the one that I have. Why? That's an eyebrow. Why? Because it's like mine. Don't you have one? I lost it. Dude, I think it'll be okay. Otherwise, I have this one for Rare Beauty, but I don't even know if it's your shade. Because I lost mine. Blush. One thing about me is I'm gonna layer on some blush. Yeah, I'm a blush girl. Hopefully, you it's can the see first that thing to go. It's the first. I thing feel to like go. I might need even to put more on. No, I've literally put three on. Cause like this, I might need to put my. Us are just like on. mixing in. My do these like leak for you? Cause look at Mine this. Don't. What? Mine literally leak everywhere. Like I need to clean. This. <laughs> uh. Somebody asked what's Mod's middle name. She doesn't have one. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. She's I kind of feel bad. She's just, yeah, we've been calling her literally, like, everything. But Ma's just Ma. Her real name is Ella, though, if you guys did not know that. Like, her name is Ella. That's why when we, we got, Anna got her a costume, an elephant costume. So she's Ella the elephant for Halloween. She hates it, but we got to get her a costume. Um, Somebody asked, do you have a least fave thing about attending events as far as, like, Working with brands, influencers, etc. Have we gotten invited to a lot? You think? I, I would like say like a decent amount where I can make an opinion. Fitness related events. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, we haven't done any beauty. I would love to do some beauty or fashion or like Amazon in the future. But as far as fitness events go, I would just say like there's a level of like unprofessionalism that goes like through all the things that I had through all the things that were asked in the question. And um, I don't know, Lex and I just have a certain standard or people, or you, well, you like see people post a certain way and um, well, like you go to the same event and then they're posting about how good it was. And then it's like, well, at least our experience and even like talking to them, they're like, 
oh, this was, wasn't the best experience, and then they go and post about how amazing it was, and it's like, kind of I don't, I don't know. It's just like, maybe our experience is different from other people. Like, that goes off a question, like, somebody had asked, like, have you ever, like, experience like racism or discrimination because of your race and like even us compared to like other other women like of other nationalities and ethnicities like it, uh, not everybody's experience is going to be the same some people's experiences are going to be favored higher than others and i will say that we have i will say there are people who have it worse and so I'm still gonna speak up about my experience within the brand and especially speak up for others who maybe won't yeah as well that's a big thing one thing about lex and i is we're gonna be confrontational and not in like a mean way by any means but in a okay i'm gonna be fully transparent like like don't send me a survey asking about how the event went and expect me not to like be honest yeah <laughs> yeah and not in a mean way but just like you're asking for revisions or even if you're not like we're still gonna give them and like we've said in the past couple of videos we're learning how to say no like unless i know unless all the questions that i have about the event are gonna be answered I'm not doing it. Like, I, even in, like, some instances, like, you don't, you're not going to be the token black girl being there. If there's not going to be other people, other, like, women of color or people of color being at, a, at like, an event, I'm not going to be the token black girl. That's not how it's going to be. Yeah, which I wouldn't, don't make assumptions on, like, who we're talking about because this is definitely, like, very broad and it, it's honestly not specific to, like, anyone in general, or, it's not specific to a single brand it's just a generalization after going on some brand trips and old partners current partners all that kind of thing like that's why we're just fully honest with you guys especially right here because it's very much glorified and in reality it is exhausting it is a lot of work but that's why we just say we always learn so much good and some not so good yeah one um girl i would say who talks a lot about um like just inclusivity with brands in general is gloria she she uses her platform so freaking well i love her videos like she's so entertaining her personality is just literally top tier but also what she stands for and just give woman herself she like very much advocates for inclusivity especially when it comes to makeup in specific mm -hmm. um for all brands and so she's not afraid to call them out she's not afraid to speak her truth on her experiences and just like the product itself yeah. like it might be inclusive but maybe it's not like the best product like you know and she just she utilizes her platform in a way that is just so inspiring to see and like just, even just being almost in a different niche like i just love her content and well and also just to see her comments and like see all these women who are like like, oh, I thought it was just me. Or, like, Teenage Me is crying right now because I never had somebody who, like, advocated for us. And I'm like, Ugh. Like, that makes me, like, tear up when, like, reading her stuff. And, oh, uh, she just she just does such a good job. Such a good job. And Someone said T on the U, frats, diversity, campus life, etc. <laughs> I got that question, too. Okay. Okay. Do you want to say it? Okay, um, so the uni- Okay, so Anna and I go to the University of Minnesota, if you guys did not know. And we did not know going into it that it was- a like, PWI. It's a PWI, which is a pro predominantly white institution, okay? Granted, Minneapolis does have a lot more diversity from where we're from, but also it's still a PWI nonetheless. And you know what? We see some of our people, <laughs> but also it, it's definitely still lacking. Like, I still wish that there was larger, um, like, larger communities. We just want friends who are genuine people. Like, that's the whole goal. I don't care what race. I don't care whatever. Like, I just want a genuine friend. Um, and as far as the frats go here, I don't know. I feel like everybody knows everybody. Yeah. In but some we, way. But I don't feel like we know that many people still. No, we don't. Like, our friends will be, we've been kind of in the same friend group since last year, and our friends will talk about people and I'm just like okay I still don't know who that is like it took us a whole year to get the names of the frats down but I also feel like we're at a point like where I don't I don't like unless it's a tailgate I don't need to be at the frats yeah it's kind of I'm just like kinda icky I feel like we're a little bit grown and I'm just kind of like looking like, like don't get me wrong they're fun every once in a while especially last year because like it was just like so oh, new freshman like it's a new experience it was fun but also, I'm at a point now where I'm like, I want to experience more. I want to finish 
and get college done and over with. Like, I want to do well and I want to succeed. And I feel like that was like a point in my life where, yeah, yeah I just got the college experience, but like that was, that enough. was enough. I also feel like being in like, like when we go, we're going to like dance because the bars here and going to socialize. Yeah, like, we're going to dance, we're going to socialize. Like the bars here are very much social hour, and because I feel like we don't know that many people, it's kind of like hard to do so. And so even though I like going to the bars, last year we liked going to the frats because we could dance, and it kind of gave club vibe because we're not able to go to a club yet. And now being like a little bit older, people normally go to the frats for that, but also to like meet guys and stuff like that, and just like being in relationships that's, that's not, not what we're looking for and that's not the goal at the end of the night so it's just kind of like oh, okay but also like it's still fun to like even have a night in like with your girlfriends and, like watch a movie and get food and like do cute stuff like it's so fun to do that as well mm -hmm. but also now i'm like at a point where like if i do go out like i want it to be an experience and i, I get to be worried I, I get i tell all of this well, i get let down sometimes because i was like i would have just rather like stayed in yeah then like go out and i feel like we're also known to like go home really like if this is not the vibe yeah. i'm not gonna force it if it's 11 and i'm not having fun i'm going home. i'm going i don't yeah. care yeah i don't it's not that deep it's never that deep i would rather get a full night's rest than go out for another two hours trying to like make something that isn't gonna happen so yeah protect your peace yeah you don't need to force it mm -hmm. said, what do you think of dating your friend's ex slash family member's ex no 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 i think that's like breaking girl code yeah, at least for like us. I know there's groups of people where, have you heard like seen those TikToks where it's like, or like known of those groups in high school that all dated each other? Like literally all dated each other and nobody liked them, but they thought everybody liked like them. them. Yeah. 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 I would never date somebody that my best friend has either talked to or been with, but that's just me. Yeah. Um, and it, I will, it, depending on how much they talked, but still like, and I'll give you a little side eye for it too. I'm not even a cap. I just, I would never do that. I, I would never, like, on and I don't you know, have the same types in terms of no, things. And, and I don't those think, types are not the same whatsoever. I, don't I would think never. think with our friends either, though. We don't, none no, of us have, none of our, this, none of us have the same type. <laughs> and I like that. Yeah, I like that. I too. like that. But also, if, like, I was single, I would never mess with somebody my friend had messed with or dated previously. Do you know what I think? Wait, you know that one thing of, like, Tana and then her one friend broke when it's, like, the girl's, like, oh, she's the cunt or whatever, and she said that whole thing, and she's like, I wouldn't say that, but, but and I'm like, that's But us. I would say that about her. Yeah. yeah. That's us, though, because I would say that, and you'd be like, I wouldn't say that, but I will I would say that. But I will say that. I'll give you a little her. side eye if you do that. Yeah. No. Somebody asked, do you wish you were ever worth the twin? No, I don't. I think it's weird. A part of me still like thinks it's weird of people who aren't a twin. Yeah, I think about like what it's like. But like, like I'm gonna do like homework and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, also like just thinking like, am I the only one who's thinking this and going to you and be like, like am I right to think this way or like, have you, did you think about that like that? And you'll be like, yeah. And I'm like, oh okay. okay. Like, just not having that. I don't know. And also like in terms of just like going places or going to things, it's mm -hmm. like I never get as much anxiety as I think I would by myself. Props to a lot of people out there doing things by themselves because yeah. It is so much nicer having somebody to do it with you. Yeah. And I whether was, whether no matter what it is. Yeah. I think I wouldn't say we're codependent on each other either, no. but like it's just nice, like, ha like me going on that trip, like I missed some school, but Lexi was like able to like get the stuff that I missed in class for me, so I just didn't have to email or like and make you, friends with somebody or I don't know, like <laughs> yeah. do any of that. So it's just nice, and I could imagine like not having that. I'm okay. I got this question about mom being an ESA, but I'm just gonna go off of this a little bit. In regards to that, I like used to be like heavily afraid of being alone. And granted, I always had like a twin, whatever. But like also like I just used to be like afraid of being alone. And ever since we have gotten mom, I'm like, I just need something else living and breathing in my apartment with me. I don't like it just being me. I don't like it. I, I need something else, li literally ha like a heart beating, whether that's Ella, whether that be a dog, whether that be a freaking hamster, I need something else. And Ella provides so much comfort, especially when Anna was gone. Cause I was like, oh, I need to feed her. Oh, she's coming up to me while I'm studying. Like, it's just so nice to have and just so comforting. And like, I, I realized- She's a stress reliever too. 
Well, she is. Um, she's an emotional support animal. <laughs> but I'm like, if I were to go live by myself, I think I would definitely get, like, I would need an animal. I would need a cat. Like, I couldn't just live in my apartment by myself. Yeah. And a cat is, like, perfect, especially in college. I don't know how people do, like, have dogs. Like, if you have a dog, you a real one for real. Because I feel like you go out, like... Well, and, and depending on where you live too, like here, there's like small yeah. patches of grass. Like I, like part of me feels bad because I'm like, where are they I gonna know. poop? When they you, have the one patch of grass they can poop in. I know. Like when you have a dog, I just feel like it's like almost a level down from having a child. So they are a lot of work. And I feel like a cat in college, if you like cats, is literally so, so perfect. So low maintenance. So low maintenance, but they're like there when you need them. And cats are very selective. Well, if you have a girl cat, because boy cats are very they cuddly. They love everybody, yeah. But girl cats, it's like Ella is always on her term. Like, it's her world. We're just living in it. Literally. We're like, but also, um, if like you have somebody over and like my cat doesn't like that person, I'll be like, it's a sign. It's a sign. And we've actually had that happen before where I'm like, okay, and the my person cat, that we're talking about, we are not very close with. I'm like, if my, if my cat don't like you, there's something, I gotta be on my tippy toes. Yeah. Um, somebody asked what I got done to my hair. If you guys didn't notice, I got my braids done again. And this girl, y'all, she had to be the fastest braider in Minnesota because I... I was in and out of there in like under three hours. Like Which she was like, crazy. I need to be leave. I need to like... She was like, I got stuff to do. I know you got stuff to do. Because we mentioned I was in school, whatever. And I was like, perfect. We're on the same page. So I got colors 4, 27, and 613. I asked for both of my knotless braids. Um, she provided the human hair for me. And I actually was going to provide this hair, but I didn't give her enough time. And that was my fault. So I brought my own hair. And I used human hair, deep wave, and the color 4. Because I it wanted it so good. I wanted to be more my natural color, and yeah. I think it is. Because I also do have highlights in my hair. Like this isn't all like the hair, but just the six thirteen. It's also my own highlights, and I love them. They're definitely not as low maintenance as regular knotless braids, but I do think they look a lot more natural, which I really like. Yeah. And yeah, and I don't have to do my hair. Yeah. So I will say one thing about Minnesota, especially in comparison to like the South, we do not have the salons in the braiders and all that stuff that they got going on down there so when people ask us questions like oh why, why haven't you tried this why have you tried that it's because like where like it's well, not even the same like it's where not... we live like i i didn't get my hair braided i got my hair braided for the first time by myself the first three times i did it by myself and that was last year and if i would have known like i could do it myself as easily as i did or if i could have like had the confidence to just like where I'm at my school, I definitely would have done it way, way, way earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, moving to a different environment has definitely helped me realize like living in such a negative space, like definitely had a toll on how I felt about myself, how I felt about just like my life and moving up here. And I just stopped caring what people thought about me, honestly. Also, Cause nobody's caring nobody, about Nobody cares. Cause nobody cares. And people don't want to be in your business. People are minding their own business. And I love that because it allowed me to start doing things that I actually loved and start trying new things that I wish I tried earlier. And it just helped me flourish. And I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're, I feel like we're experimenting, especially you with like trying new things. And like, I always do it after Lexi does it because she does. I'm like, well, cause she, you're gonna, you're gonna see like, let me, let me make sure she's not wasting her money before I waste mine. Yeah. So, so I'll probably get my done when it gets a little bit colder, probably honestly around finals. So I'm not stressing about doing my hair, but honestly just put it in the clock clip every day, which is not hard. So yeah, I just didn't literally did not want to have to deal with my hair. Mm-hmm. How does it feel for almost hitting 1 million on Instagram? Yeah, how does it feel? You're so close. I literally checked la like yesterday and you were like 977 and today you're like 980 something. And I was like, bitch, what? <laughs> this goes on another question because somebody asked, do you ever get imposter syndrome? And I feel like I do a lot. Like it doesn't feel real. It feels crazy because a year ago, like we literally signed a lease that we couldn't even afford that we're hitting such a big milestone i literally ha i put it on my vision board and i was like that's a reach literally it was in the corner of my vision board because i knew it was a freaking reach and it's crazy because it's now in the palm of my hand yeah and it'll be probably before the end of november and that's insane mm -hmm. it's insane vision like, boards gotta make them no i'm serious my vision board is my ipad this isn't even all of it i made it on canva and literally pretty much everything i put on my vision board has came true and a lot of it was like how like 
like I created steps in order to obviously be able to accomplish it but I in my head I was like I'm gonna try my best to complete all these things that's why it's on my vision board for this year and it's crazy to think that like a lot of it a lot, a lot of, of it has true. been it's crazy mm -hmm. it feels surreal that's like one thing I will say about like the most positive outcome of going to the events and getting to travel is getting to meet you guys and it does not feel real but also i feel like it's what makes social media real like being at the honor event and having a line of people even though lex and i didn't have like our own meet and greet having a line of people like to literally come see to come see us to come talk with us to take a picture like all the conversations we had like that's what makes it real and it's just so cool because we communicate with you guys through like dms and online and in comments and like yes that's like that semi like makes me feel a certain way but like seeing See? people in real life and yeah. having like that face-to-face -face interaction is what solidifies like why what? we're doing this and what who we're doing it for like mm -hmm. besides ourselves and each other yeah and so it's no, crazy. It's crazy like literally we were leaving on sunday and it sucked that we had to leave early like i was bawling my eyes out in the panel talk like I was just going through so much, but also it's crazy that like that many people showed up to like listen. Mm -hmm. And then in itself, we were leaving to go get the Uber and people were like, oh my God, I'm so glad I got to see you. Like, can't believe you're leaving. Like literally as we were getting in the Uber, get to the airport. And the girl's like, I literally flew down here like to see you on Sunday because I knew you guys were gonna be here. Like that's crazy. And it just puts things into perspective, how much of an impact you're making, how in a way like, it's like, you don't even see yourself like that sometimes yeah. and people that's how people see you my boyfriend says shit like that all the time he's like i wish you could see how i think of you and like how i see you in like my own eyes mm -hmm. and it's like i don't know it's just like it's it's, it's crazy surreal. it's surreal that's like the perfect word it does not feel real sometimes but especially it's also because what makes it real so it's just kind of ironic and then lastly <laughs> somebody asked how we were doing and i don't know that's such a good question yet. I feel like I don't like have an answer. I'm just like when people ask like, you know when people ask like, how's it going? You just like, it's going. Like, yeah, it's going. That's how it is. Halfway through the semester, literally already burnt out, but still have half the semester left. And then also just trying to like keep up. Um, but we do have like some exciting things coming up. Oh, so that's how you're doing mentally? Go. Well, mentally, yeah, it's going. Just go. I'm, I'm definitely burnt out, and I found I've been getting back into reading, which has been like my escape lately. <laughs> like I look forward to it. I look forward to it. I'm like, I need to get this all done so I can start reading my book on the way to school, on the buses, and reading my book or editing content. Like I look forward to it. Yeah. I also look forward to like editing content and like what's done too. Yeah. So. Seeing the results. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll say that I'm doing really well. Mentally, props to you. I just had like a little break though because I went home for the weekend and was just with Devin and his family, which was super good and it was just like a nice getaway. And then we had our trip to Chicago, which was super nice. So I'll be resuming my normal routine here with midterms and studying, which is definitely going to be some added stress, but I just do my best i feel like one thing that i've been focusing on this semester is just like again doing my best doing your best i'm not really searching for academic validation in college well in some classes yes in some classes yes but or also, you know it's achievable but also i'm not going to put too much pressure like in ochem for example to do well i just want to do the best that i can and understand what i'm learning and hopefully that equals out to the grade that i get but i'm not like I'm not gonna get an A, so I'm not gonna set the expectation that I'm gonna get an A. So that's kind of how I've been looking at it, which has definitely been better. So yeah, mentally I feel good. Physically, I am so excited to get back into the gym because I haven't worked out in like over a week until today. So that felt really good. And then how do you feel physically? I feel good. I feel like it's been hard because like- Sleep. Sleep, but also like eight hours is not almost enough enough for me because I'm so mentally exhausted like like I get on average nine probably but I like 
I'm so mentally exhausted, like I need more. Like in the summertime, it was good because it was more like I was doing things that were physically exhausting because I was working out and doing all these things. Now it's like where I'm so mentally exhausted, like eight hours is not enough. Yeah. I uh, feel like we're like falling asleep at like eight o'clock. No, I'm like literally our chem, or freaking three hour chem lab, like their chem lecture, six to nine, I'm like, it's eight o'clock. I'm like, I need to go to bed. Like I can't process information after like 7 p.m. So the fact that that lecture went on two hours past that, oh girl, I don't even know. I'm like, as for my workouts, I'm just glad I'm like moving my body, but I do walk like well over 10,000 steps almost every single day because of my classes, walking to and from my classes. So only spending like an hour, hour and a half in the gym is like fine, but also sometimes I'm just so busy. I'm like, I feel like I'm just doing workouts to like move my body, but I'm not like pushing myself as much as I want to because I have to save en energy mentally for like school. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you can't put too much pressure on yourself then because at least you're moving your body. I know, but I'll say one thing that has been super exciting is we're currently in a little trial period with management and we're super excited because I feel like we have been super selective and apprehensive to move forward with anything like that, but we feel like we found a company that aligns with kind of like what we're looking for and where we want to go and they can they have the resources that we don't as well and also i just think that like this whole time like we've been representing ourselves we've been doing things on our own and like i feel like in a way to also relieve a lot of pressure on the back end of like us like answering emails and yeah and just also again um give us opportunities that we might not be able to create for ourselves yeah so, so we're, we're super we're excited, excited. Yeah, yeah to see how it goes and obviously we'll keep you guys updated because it was a long time in the work. It was a long time. But um, I also feel like who they work with, not only creators, but brands speaks volumes. And then also who we have in specific representing us at like being a black woman uh, says a lot too. So we're just super excited to see where yeah. it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, ending on a little bit more of a positive note. But yeah. <laughs> also if you're in school, girl, you get it. Like we're not being Debbie Downers. You get it. You, you feel it. like. Yeah. It is what it is. But hopefully that was like on a deeper <laughs> level. Um, hopefully we answered like majority of the questions that you got. We kind of got similar questions. So we're bouncing off that, but also adding some more of our own input. I think it was also interesting to answer questions that weren't about us. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I do too. I feel like when we tried to film our last twin talk, it was predominantly fitness based, which is all fine. But um, the reason we didn't end up posting it was not only because the camera quality was bad, but also <laughs> because it was, we can answer those questions in our DM, and it's just super cool to like talk about different things. Talk about different things. I also feel like it you helps. Like, bitch, no, don't look at me do that. No, it's, it's what? Like your, it's, it's my lip gloss. gloss. They yeah. are not gonna be able to see it. I can see it, and it's bothering me. Don't look at me. <laughs> it's I just want to thank you guys for still continuously like supporting us, especially with not like us not being able to like pop out videos like every week. Um, your guys' support is still there we still see it and we i appreciate it yeah we just appreciate it a lot a lot especially during a busy time like this yes. so make sure to like comment and subscribe um if you want to see more of us and we will see you guys soon okay so we never showed you guys the makeup like hey, man, talk that shit down. Hey. this is the glam niggas ain't got respect bye bye <laughs> i put that top left I love my corny to death. Hype Williams, no X. If you don't say it, the record, give a fuck. Yeah, yeah.